The sun is around 4.5 billion years old, and just like you and I, it's going to start aging. In approximately 1 billion years, the sun will have expanded so much that it will melt away the Earth's surface. The question is, can we survive the sun's death? It turns out our best solution lies in something called gravity assist, a technique scientists have been using for years to launch spacecrafts into the solar system. Any time a spacecraft or satellite comes in close proximity to any planet, gravity grabs hold. If the spacecraft arrives at the perfect angle, it is able to use some of the planet's momentum to catapult it further into space. This extra energy comes from the planet's own energy and motion around the sun. But, as Newton famously said, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. As the spacecraft uses the Earth's gravity to speed up and move towards Earth, the planet will ever so slightly slow down and move towards the spacecraft. Of course, the spacecraft's mass is much smaller than Earth's, so instead, the spacecraft gets launched incredibly far while Earth experiences little change. But if we were to increase the spacecraft's size, or perhaps use an asteroid, we could potentially move the Earth's orbit away from the Sun. This would take millions of years and require large objects coming just close enough to Earth but not damaging it. It may seem impossible, but scientists are already working on it. On October 9, 2013, Earth was used to gravity assist a spacecraft called Juno, which is now on its way to Jupiter. Juno was launched in Florida and flew within 559 kilometers of Earth. It used Earth's gravity to act as a slingshot while boosting Juno's speed to 7.3 kilometers per second. Meanwhile, Earth would have been moved by a fraction. Juno will arrive at Jupiter in 2016. It will study the interior of the planet. In order to move the Earth within the 1 billion year time allowance, we will need to slingshot one object every 6,000 years using an object with a mass of 10 quintillion. That's 19 zeros. The object will slingshot around the Earth, fly off to Jupiter, and then be gravity assisted back to Earth, basically like a long game of cats between planets. Over millions of years, this will bring the Earth to a comfortable 225 million kilometer orbit away from the Sun. This is all possible with today's technology, however this concept does not come without extreme risks. For one, we may lose the moon, which will result in some serious weather problems, not to mention the Earth's rotation may increase, making days only hours long. Surrounding planets like our neighbours Mars will have their own orbits stabilised.